Everybody, this is Peyton Hatch with Kuka Rankin. Today I'm going to show you how to update the base station position. Uh, say you set up a base station and you went out and you told it to collect static data. You also were out with an RT with a rover unit taking shots and now you're ready to come into the office. You have processed the data or you've sent the base station data into Opus and gotten a position. You need to update that position and then have all the uh, rover shots also updated. So, we'll just get started. So we'll create a new job in Infinity. I want to call it Opus Test. We'll hit Create. All right, and then we'll go up here and we will go Import Data. And this is the raw DBX project that I will be importing. So I will grab it, hit import. Give it just a second to load. And here are our points. Points come in. You notice that the coordinate system down here, oh, coordinate system right here did come in. Uh, UTM zone 11. So just kind of see where we are in the world. I'm going to bring in the Esri background map right here. Kind of see where these points sit. Maybe we can get it to load. There we go. So here's where they are sitting right now, and there's the base station. So I'll turn this off. All right, so we need to update this base station, have everything else updated. So if you notice, 0.001 has a northing. Let's remember that 614.401. We're gonna see if that updates. So now we'll go into our source, click on this project, and there's the reference station. Here are all the base, all the positions shot with that reference. So when you click on it, over in the property grid, it pops up. And right here you can now change the latitude and longitude of the base station. So we will minimize that, pull up our opus sheet. And we'll update our latitude and longitude. So latitude 13 point, let's delete this out. Six, five, zero, one, two. And then the west position is right here, 21.46. So 21.46, one, nine, three. And then the ellipsoidal height. Now, of course, the Opus solution gives it to you in metrics, so I have converted it. It is actually 5948.9184. And we'll hit apply. Genus instrument setup has been modified. Everything's been changed. All targets connected to this setup will be updated. Okay. So I'll take this back out to full screen. That position's been updated. Let's go back up here to one. This position has been updated. We'll bring in our map. That looks a little better. Now Leica also, that's the Esri map. Leica also has hexagon imaging. That's all part of your infinity. <clears throat> Uh, software if you have an active CCP. So the hexagon imaging should be 30 centimeter or ortho rectified, ortho rectified or, or better. All right, so there is the map. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, updating a base station position is extremely simple. Um, you are now ready to export out your data. Um, yeah, leave me any questions in the comments. Thank you.